Hey Bunchers, I'm back. I know it's been a minute since I've um, posted a video or appeared in a video, but um, yeah, I'm back. Uh, just to clear some rumors up, I'm not leaving the channel. A bunch of you guys have messaged me on my personal channel. I'm not leaving the channel. Um, just had to deal with some stuff and, you know, lots of new little scenery, if you noticed. So, yeah. But anyways, I hope you guys had a good work week and had a great Saturday and partied up with your friends or whoever you hang out with. Hope you guys had a great Saturday. And let's jump straight into the questions. Okay, so, um, Mike, you asked about what our favorite food was, or no, your friends asked, um, my favorite Thai dish would have to be, um, well, yeah, Pad Thai is pretty bomb. And um, the curries, I love red and green and yellow or whatever there is out there. Actually, I also love tamarind fish. There's a great restaurant here. Um, it's in Santa Clara. It's called Blue Mango. You guys should totally check that out. It's a great restaurant. And your other friend asked, um, can we handle spicy food? And yes, I think spicy food is the best. Um, I love spicy food. If it's not spicy enough, I'm always adding more um, spices or more peppers or hot sauce or my, your sriracha sauce that you put on everything. So yes, I love spicy food. The spicier, the better. And um, Sergio, you asked what our zodiac sign was. And I am a Virgo, but since I was born on the first, I'm actually one of those cuspial signs. So um, technically, I'm a Virgo, but have the characteristics of a Leo or a Libra, one of those things. I know I'm bitchy like a Libra and a little, um, I guess, passive as a Virgo but a little more um, outspoken and somewhat blunt at times, like a Libra and a Leo, you know, the lion, fierce, <laughs> duh. But um, yeah, so yes, I am a Virgo with a lot of different traits within myself, so. But I'm a very nice person, that's all that matters, right? And um, Serge, you asked what our favorite food is and I love, love, love Korean food. Korean food is very good. Um, the fried foods in the Korean culture are very good, like the fried squid and the bulgogi and the, um, I forgot what it's called, but the bimbimbap. It's like um, a huge bowl and it's, it's like full of like Korean little, like, you know, yumminess mm -hmm. and then there's like the fried egg on top or whatever how, however you want the egg cooked and you smash it all together and you put that hot sauce in it it's yummy i suggest you all try it and um darren you asked what our favorite article of clothing is and with me when i go shopping i'm always on the prowl for like um boxers i love 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 boxers H&M, um, I love their superhero boxers. I love boxers that have a bunch of designs on them. So um, whoever, you know, if you're ever lucky to get me out of my pants, I'm going to have some great boxers. And getting me out of my pants is not going to be that hard. Just to let y'all know. But my favorite boxers, I just bought these the other day. They're American Eagle. And they're right here. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't want to look slutty on camera, but then again... Yeah, they're red right here, and there's like an eagle on the side, and then the garter actually says American Eagle. So, yeah, I like these a lot, and I like the boxers that ha that are very like um, figure forming, very tight, not extremely tight, but just it's it's very snug, and I like that. So, these are my boxers. American Eagle. Right there. Oh, that's a slutty move. But again, it's me. So, got a little peep show going. But, okay. 
And Alejandro, you asked how tall we are. I am 5'11". Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I was the tallest person on this channel. Prove me wrong. Um, that's, that's what I think, that I'm the tallest person on this channel. But then again, I think Sergio, I think that you might be pretty tall too. So, um, yeah, I am 5'11", and I think it kind of sucks, especially being gay and being Asian. Um, you know how Asians are stereotyped as, like, being short? So, um, when you're a tall Asian like me, and a bomb-ass bottom like me, and feminine like me, it's kind of hard to find that guy that you want because you're taller than them, or, you know, that they... For me, I think that sometimes height depends, height and their characteristic depends if they're top or a bottom. And so I'm very feminine and I'm tall, but then I'm a bottom. So I find it weird that the guy that I meet is going to be masculine and he's like 5'4 and he's fucking me. So I don't know, that's kind of weird. But then again, hey, I'll do it. So, let's jump into my question, shall we? Um, my question would have to be, have you ever been mocked or discriminated against for being gay in a public place? Um, I would have to say yes. It happens to me quite often, maybe because, um, you know, even blind people know that I'm gay. Even deaf people know that I'm gay. So, obviously, I'm going to get a little more attention for just being so out there. But um, today I ran into a little, some little ass girls at the mall, you know, and um, I'm just walking past them and then all of a sudden I hear snickering, right? So I was like, okay, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes the mockery, here it goes the hate crimes, here it goes the ignorant mind just running off, you know what I'm saying? So I'm walking past them and then they know that I'm looking, so they act as if, oh, um, they don't have service on their phone. So they put their phones in the air and they're like, oh girl, I don't got service, I don't got service. And I was like, y'all are so fucking ridiculous right now. And they were like recording me while I was walking and taking pictures of what I was wearing. It's like they ain't never seen a gay person before. Y'all are so dumb. So, um, we walk into the store and then they're still acting, oh girl, I ain't got no signal, I ain't got no signal. And I was like, you guys are so ridiculous. And I was already irritated, I was just so irritated. And then so I just lashed out, and they're like walking past me, and I was like, well then take a fucking picture. You know? You want me to pose for you too? Let me strike a little pose. Strike some poses real quick. You can put it on YouTube. Or hey, look at the gay guy walking, or the gay guy with what he's wearing. You want to strike some pictures? Strike some pictures. I'll do you a favor and pose for you. And one of the other girls heard me. And she, like, they looked just so dumbfounded. They were like, oh my god. So they didn't really say anything. So um, we just part ways and they go out the store and I'm, you know, shopping some more. And then so we're leaving the mall and then I see that these same four girls sitting on this little block outside the mall. And they ain't saying shit. But I know, but with me, I don't take things like this so lightly. So I can see them sitting outside. So I open the door flamboyantly and I was like, let's go, you know. And then so they're looking at me and I have my phone there. I can't find no signal. I can't find no signal because I got a ghetto ass phone. And then I see this girl with her, this, you know, this sad ass look on her face. And then I was like, okay, so y'all get my point. Yes, gay people here. Gay people know that you guys are talking about us. But gay people will whoop your ass. Let me just let y'all know that. And so, as we're backing out of the mall, I see them and we drive past them and I'm like waving my phone in the air. Did you get signal yet? Did you get some signal? And nothing happened. So just know, I mean, hey, don't let the femininity and the stereotypes fool you. We will beat your ass. Just to let you know. Alright, Bunchers, so uh, this is my video for this Saturday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was great seeing you guys again. It's great talking to you guys again. It's great being on a camera again. So, um, have a great rest of your weekend and a great night. And be safe out there. And I hope you guys are um, excited for Pride Weekend. 
for SJSF or wherever you are, it's going to be a great Pride weekend. Um, it's not till maybe like two, three more weeks, but it's going to be really fun. So, oh, and by the way, shameless self-promotion for me, um, youtube.com slash BYP will no longer be, um, updating videos. Um, if you still want to follow me on YouTube, um, besides being on BOR, my new personal channel is www.youtube.com slash Miss Benny Jane. And I'll put the link in the sidebar over here or over there, wherever. Look for it in the description. All right, guys. So I'm signing off for the night and hope you guys have a good one.